This is the third video on estimating or figuring out the uncertainty of the length of a cat. Uh, we already did it by estimation and by using the min-max method. Now, the other two methods that you can use from statistics is average and standard deviation. You can either use the formulas, or if you're like me a bit on the lazy side, you're going to use Excel to do that for you. Okay, so first what I did, I copied my 17 measurements in here. And now the first thing I'm going to be doing is calculating the average. Now my Excel is set to English, so the formula will be equals average. If you have it in French, for example, it will say equal moyenne. So you have to uh, go with whatever the language is. So as you see, I simply type average and then I mark all uh, the values. So from C4 to C20, I want Excel to calculate me the average. And hit enter, that's done. Now average deviation, similar, formula is AVEDEV. -E Open bracket, and then again I'm gonna mark all of those and hit enter. This is my average deviation and standard deviation STDEV. -E Open bracket, close, mark the whole thing, enter, and that's it. So I have my three values uh, from Excel. Now let's go back to the board. So we're back from Excel. I copied over the average Excel gave me. I copied, copied over the average deviation and the standard deviation. Now what do we have to do? Well, for the average deviation method, we simply copy the value over. And as before, I prefer to do only one sig fig, so 0 0.01. Average deviation plus 0 0.01 one meter and as the main value I take uh, the average itself with the same number of significant figures so in this case 0 0.6 and for standard deviation I do the same thing I round it to one sig fig so plus minus 0.1 and uh, the average itself to one sig fig so I have another value so what do we get if we compare all methods here? When I did the estimation, that was definitely the fastest because I only had to do one measurement. Uh, and I got a very high uncertainty because it was very conservative. Like I, I, I didn't think I have high precision in my measurements. When I did the min-max method, the average deviation, the standard deviation, in this case, it turned out the value here became the same for all of them. Could have been different here because here I used uh, max plus min over 2 and not the average. So here that's a coincidence that this is exactly the same number. Here it has to be the same number. Then for the uncertainty itself, the min max method is the one that takes in every single measurement. So every, every measurement is in, so I have the highest uh, uncertainty. Uh, however, if I look at average and standard deviation, I get much lower uncertainties here with one sig fig the same value, but it looked like standard deviation would have given me a bit of a higher value. Why? Because we square the difference from the average, so outlayers have a bit of a bigger impact, but in this case here it didn't make any difference. So all of this should be accurate. Uh, the statistical methods here gave me a higher precision. Uh, However, if I don't have much time, estimating might just do the trick because the answer is accurate. It might not be very precise, but the answer is accurate. All of these uh, re re replies or all of these values do uh, agree with each other. 